Hello and welcome back to Let's Develop Code Hunt. In the last episode I uh, finished the training sequences and now I'm going to dive into the arithmetic section. There are actually 15 code pieces to hunt and there's a total of, now we see it, 45 skill points to get. So let's jump right into it and hope that these examples are a little more challenging than the ones from the tutorial. So let's see what have we got here. We have function with a single input and it tells us, okay, for zero input we expect zero output, for 33 input we expect minus 33, for one we expect minus one, and I'm going to take a wild guess here and just return minus x which is actually exactly the uh, the training sequence example that was played in a from a recorded coding session so this is boring let's see what's up next again function with one input parameter input 0 expects minus 2 input 33 expects 31 input 2 expects 0 input 1 expects minus 1 wild guess expected solution is x minus 2 let's see yeeha we captured it and it was the most elegant solution we could ever think of <coughs> come on microsoft give me something more challenging Okay, what have we got here? So it's 0 is 0, 1 is 1, 33 is 1089. Just wild, 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 wild guess. This is x times x. And there we go. Nice. Actually, didn't I just find out that there are some kind of sounds around here that make this game a little more fancy? Yeah, for some reason switch them off. So let's see. Sounds now? No, oh, no sounds. Microsoft, this is buggy. I can set this option, but it's gone afterwards. Yeeha! I guess I'm going to file a bug report. I want to have this fancy futuristic sounds around here. I just heard till like a couple of minutes ago. Anyways, so our next problem is again a function with one parameter, zero expected zero, input 33 expected 99, input one expected three, wild shot three times x. Do 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 Batman! Yeah, I got it right and I got the most skill points. And this is actually still pretty easy. I hope there's something more challenging coming up. Let's see, input 0, expected 0, input 30, 33, expected 11, which is a third, input 1, expected 0, which is a third expressed integer. So let's try it with x divided by 3. This will actually round down from what, whatever point, whatever, to only the first whatever, because uh, in integer division in Java we just get cut off and that was a wild guess but a good one let's see <laughs> i guess it's really funny that we always get this nearly there thing in the beginning that tells us to look at the single line of code that is given to us but anyways um thanks for telling us where we should go and work on expected input 29 expected output 0, expected input 3, output 1, input 1, output 4, input 2, output 2. This is interesting. So with the size of the input, the output gets less. Um... The output gets less. Okay, let's see. If x equals 3, whoops, this should be an equals, equals 3, return 1, 
if x equals 2, return 2. If x equals 1, return 4. Other case, return 0. What happens here? In case of 4, please return 1. If x equals 4, return 1. What have we got here? In case of minus 2, return minus 2. Interesting. So, in fact, what I want to do is probably, since this is, this is the same as here, only with a negative sign, I want to do the following. My result store my result in a intermediate variable. In the end, return my result, and if x is smaller than zero, result is minus one times result. And what am I missing? I just thought of something I'm missing here, which is, of course, we cannot do these checks here on x, but we have to do it on the absolute value of x, which we can get by math apps, if I'm not entirely wrong. So this should be apps x, this should be apps x, this should be apps x, and this should be apps x. Just while guessing, so let's see what have we got here. It's taken quite a long time to prove, but actually I'm right. But I only get one third of the style score, which I can somewhat see because my implementation is really ugly. So I'm going to keep trying to make this somewhat nicer. Let's see what have we got here. <laughs> There's got to be a function that expresses this whole thing in a more elegant way. So for zero, we actually return zero, but for for one on both sides, we return four. As is the case for three and minus three, no four. Yeah, for one, we return four. For two, we still return two. For three and four, we return one. Which is actually result equals to 4 divided by x. Is that right? Because 4 divided by 1 is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 3, 4 divided by 3 is 1, because we again cut off. 4 divided is also 4, and everything larger than 4 should be 0. But for minus 3, for minus 3, it should be minus 1. That is what's expected. So 4 divided by, ah, okay, divided by minus 3. So this has, this got to be apps x right now. Is that right? This is working now. As it is, I have a pretty good idea because now I can take out all this math app stuff and just return 4 divided by x. If I'm not wrong, this should be it. Yeehaw! We got it and we got the maximum amount of skill points. So it would be worth putting some input in, input in this refactoring. My whole cluttered code here, my, my like 5 to 10 lines into these actually 
pretty simple things, sometimes it's really worth it cleaning up your code. So let's see, what have we got here? A new challenge, challenge accepted. This time we have actually two inputs, so it's getting more challenging. X1, Y1, expected output zero. X2, Y2, expected output zero. X513, Y512, expected output one. Okay, wild guess, this is the difference, like X minus Y. Yeeha! I am the best of them all. Okay, so let's proceed to the next one. Actually, uh, up here we can see what we get. So I'm in the first thing, which is the arithmetic uh, code snippets, and I'm on example 8 out of 15. So I'm probably not going to make it through all those 15 examples, but maybe I'll manage to do like 10 in this episode. Let's see how quick I can proceed. If the others are as easy as the past ones, this should be possible. Okay, what have we got here? Again, two inputs for x29 and y33, I expect 95. For x64 and y minus 32, I expect 0. For x1 and y1, I expect 3. Okay, just a wild guess. I see here that 64 is actually 2 times 32, and there's a minus. So my guess would be this is x plus 2 times y which actually 2 times 33 is 66, 66 plus 29 is 89.95 and it matches here 2 plus 2 times 1 is 3 so my guess is this is the function I'm looking for and I was right thank you very much total score point of 30 I am so good I am so good I am so good I got this Next thing, two inputs. One and one is one, two and two is four. How about x times y? Come on, Microsoft, you're making it too easy for me. I can do thousands of those in an hour, probably. Um, next one, one and one is one, two and two is two. Love wild guess return x. No, that was not it. In the case of x equals 2, there seem to be some different things going on. So if y equals to 65, then we actually return 23. Give me something, give me something, what have we got here? So, okay, again, special case for x equals 2. If y equals 66, then we return 24. Interesting. I don't see the pattern yet, but I guess we'll get there. x to y67 returns 22 also. Kind of redundant so it's not monotonously increasing here because we have 2 times 24 actually we have a third time 24 which is quite interesting third time 24 okay give me some more hints well completely different x2 okay we're still in this special case here x2 y equals 6 we want to return 4 4 how does that fit I still need more information I'm not sure maybe you see the pattern and I'm stupid but I don't currently see it so okay let's continue for 7 we also return 4 
So at least it's increasing, even though it's not strictly monotonic. For 70, whoops, that's down here, we get 25. Uh, 70 return 25. So what I'm interested in now is what happens for the 69 because is this 24 is this 25? Uh, oh, let's try 24. Hopefully he will generate test case for me telling me whether this line is correct or not. And he does. 69 should be 25. Thank you very much. So, what I take from this is that there's three times the same value. So it's probably something about division by three. If I divide 66 by three, it's 22, right? 22. The same is for these because we, in integer division the dot is something gets cut off. And in this it's actually 23. 69 divided by 3 is 23. So we have an offset of 2 which is exactly the x value. Interesting. So we have something like return 2 plus Epsilon uh, y divided by 3. Is that right? Come on, come on, come on, come on, do this. Oh, no. Oh, actually there are more special cases. What's that? what's going on right now? So we have x times is 3. And we actually return... 194, oh no, no, 194 is epsilon, uh, is, sorry, y, and um, our expected result is 67. What's wrong with our rule here? Is that, may that be similar? So, uh, 194 divided by 3 is uh, 180 is... Uh, actually 60 remains 14 14 divided by 3 is 4 so we have 64 64 plus 3 is actually 67 that is nice so maybe this is generalizable according to this rule let's find out Yes, it is. Mm, I am the best. And since already quite some time passed, I guess I'm going to stop here and continue with the next task in the next episode. See you there.